What is marriage? Marriage is a human reality. But at the same time, it actually points to a divine reality. To understand this, we need to get to the beginning of the Holy Bible. A careful study of Genesis helps us not only understand the views of marriage, but also understand views of how a person finds happiness. In Genesis 2:18, God said, not good for a man to be alone seven times before this whatever he created god said it was good and in genesis 2:18 he looked at man and said it's not good why because after this god comes up with a seemingly disparaging comment saying i'm going to make a helper fit for him the question that should come is what does man need help for man is made in the image and likeness of god to unravel this we need to understand who is god god is three persons who live in the divine relationship of reckless exchange of love holding back nothing and giving everything hence man who is made in the divine image of god who is love and relationship must be made for love and relationship Why did God say it is not good for man to be alone because as per traits of God man has to be in love and be loved which means man needs another person who is like man but yet not like man a distinctive identity all of a sudden God brings the woman and Adam looks at her and says wow This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Genesis 2 verse 23. And in naming her woman, he names himself man. In other words, the man did not know his own identity until the man saw the woman. His life had no meaning, no purpose. But when the woman came into his life, he suddenly found the meaning of his life. and purpose man cannot live without love he remains a being that is incomprehensible for himself his life is senseless if love is not revealed to him if he does not encounter love if he does not experience it and make it his own if he does not participate intimately in it if love is not revealed to him if he does not encounter love if he does not experience it and make it his own and if he does not participate intimately in it redemptor hominis chapter 10 every human being is made to be loved and to love nothing from this world satisfies the human heart what satisfies the human heart is entering into a relationship and marriage is the fundamental relationship a relationship which is total exclusive and generative